How do you know if the y-intercept, the starting value, is 5 or 0.50? So with the equation y equals 5 plus 0.50x, which one is the y-intercept? Which one's the starting value? In this lesson, you will learn how to describe the y-intercept of a linear function by examining the four representations of a function. So to review, a linear function has a constant rate of change. In a graph that looks like a straight line, every time x changes by 1, y changes by 3. Here we can see that in the equation, 3 is the coefficient of our independent variable x. And in a table, every time x changes by 1, y changes by 3. So the change in y divided by the change in x is 3 divided by 1, which is 3. A common mistake is to see an equation and interpret the value that is all by itself, or the constant, as the constant rate of change. Well, this can't be. And if you think, the, the constant value is only going to affect the uh, equation one time, whereas the other value, 3, every time x changes by 1, 3 times 1 would be 3, 3 times 2 would be 6, 3 times 3 would be 9, and we add 4 after we do that multiplying by 3. So this is the constant rate of change. So we have a, a situation here. A local carnival admission is $5, and it's 50 cents per ride after that. So we have an equation, y equals 5 plus 0.50x. We know the constant rate of change is 0.50. The verbal description gives us away with the word per. And the equation, it gives us away because it's the coefficient of x, our independent variable. So what about the 5? Well, the 5 is what we call the y-intercept. It's the starting value. So in a graph, what that looks like, it's the value of y when x is 0. So before you ride any rides, going back to the context that we had in the slide before, before you ride any rides, the cost to get in the carnival is $5. So without any rides tacked on, the cost is $5. And then after that, it increases by 50 cents per ride. What does that look like in a table? Well, we want to find the x value of 0 because the corresponding y value is going to be the y-intercept. So it's the value of y when x is 0, or interpret it in the context of the carnival before you have gone on any rides. So let's try another one. A desk is 36 inches tall. Each book stacked on top adds 2 inches to the height. So here's the equation, the table, and the graph. Where is the y-intercept for each one of those? highlighted in the red blocks. So we see that 36 is our y-intercept, and that's the height of the desk without any books stacked on top. Then, as we add every book, one at a time, it adds two more inches to the height. But the height with zero books on it is 36 inches, and that's the y-intercept, or our starting value. So in this lesson, you, will, you learn how to describe the y-intercept of a linear function by examining the four representations of a function.